Why, hey there, guys. How's it going? Sloppy here. And my voice is, uh, recovering from a night out. I'll say that. All right. Uh, look at this. We've got some progress done in the landscaping. We added some dead grass, some fallen leaves. It's, uh, coming together slowly but surely. I'm feeling, feeling positive about this area, you know? I'm feeling better about it by the second. Uh, we did some of this in live streams and just sort of just sort of tried to touch up the area. We got our pathway going all, around, all the way around the lake. And we definitely have more work to do. We're definitely not done the terraforming and, you know, the design of this place. But we'll get there. I'm not, uh, I'm not feeling too much of a rush, you know? I'm, I'm just, you know, it feels alright. I'm alright with it. And eventually, you know, eventually we'll, we'll get it done and it'll, it'll be super cool and, and chill and... Don't even worry about it. We'll get it done. Anyway, I want to go over to spawn because that's where I want to build today. Um, I like spawns in worlds, you know? I like big community things and blah, blah, blah. And, um, yeah. So please leave a like on this video. I'll just like bait it a little bit right now. If you're into Creativerse and you're enjoying this series, please leave a like on this video. And subscribe for more Creativerse. All that jazz. Um, but yeah, I want to build something over at spawn that I think is a super necessary... Um, super necessary build, you know? If you're talking about people living together, there's one thing that I think is basically a requirement. And we'll get to that, and that's what I want to build today. But first off, I just wanted to uh, check out Remy D's Inn. Uh, I sort of briefly showed this in some live streams and stuff, but... Uh, he built this inn over here, and it is fantastic, and I'm jealous of it, and Lazy Leafy Inn. Uh, it's just really cool. You know, these, um, these medieval blocks, the medieval fireplace, medieval torches, the chandeliers, they all just blend in so well with the existing blocks. They were such a nice addition, and it's just gorgeous. It's just gorgeous in here, and uh, look at all, all this. We can come in here, and I... I it's just perfect. Just beautiful. Um, but yeah, so this is uh, Remy D's Inn. It's very cool. It's very cool. There's a bed in the middle there. Nice little workstation. It's just, it's a lovely place. It's a lovely, lovely place. Anyway, this is not where I'm building today, though. I just wanted to show you guys. And then, of course, the evilness of the server built a real fake doors store. Because that's what evil does, right? They build real fake doors. We're going to be building it down here, and you can see I've already got a little thing set up because I was sort of uh, asking people in live stream to help me out. I wanted to use dark blocks. I want this to be kind of a dark build. And so this is what we're rolling with. Um, we're probably doing an asphalt floor. This is actually Tar, which was an amazing suggestion from Tashlin, who also plays on the server. Um, amazing suggestion, Tar, and it looks so good and smooth and clean. I love it. And then we're going to use some weathered wood walls and some hardened lava walls. And, uh, yeah, that's sort of our block palette. And, uh, we're going to be building it sort of in here. Um, and, uh, yeah. I think what I want to do is just get a little bit of it built. And then we can talk about sort of what it is. Because uh, I'm not entirely sure sort of where I want to build it in here. And I think to fully get the dramatic reveal of it, I sort of want to get a touch of it done, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna get a little area cleared out and uh, we're gonna start putting it together. All right, um, a little bit of digging later. Look at this place, what are we building? We are building the server's best and only nightclub. I feel like it's important that people have a place to go where they can just cut loose, you know? After those long days of being evil or building or whatever. You know, we're right across from the server's only inn, so if you go a little too hard at the club, there's rooms right there available. And I feel positive about this, you know? Also, club owners, they, uh, they do pretty well financially. So, let's, uh, let's just keep building here. So, this is going to be the bar area. The bar area, you know? This is going to be our dance floor. You always have to have a sunken dance floor. Let's be classy about it. This is uh, our little stage, in case anybody wants to come up here, do a little dance, you know? I don't know. I don't know what they want to do up there. But it's important people have a place that they can go and, you know, relax and have a good time. Anyway, I should probably make this a touch safer because I'm getting attacked left, right, and center. So I'm going to close off this cave here and, uh, yeah, just do a bit more building, you know? 
boy, this place is looking classy. Look at this hardened lava wall. One, just a great texture for detail blocks. But look at this tar wall. Oh, it is smoking. It is smoking hot. I am a big fan of it. I decided to use bedrock for the ceiling. The floor is going to be something different. Uh, I love the bedrock texture. I think it is so good. I'm going to make this one deeper, I think. I'm going to make this one deeper just so we have a little bit more room to play with. But uh, yeah, this place is looking swanky. And before we get to the dance floor, I think I want to do this area. So, what do we need? Well, we need a bar so people can get their beverages. Um, we need an area to sit. You definitely gotta sit occasionally, you know? You can't just be up all the time. Um, yeah. Hmm. How are we gonna do this? I don't know. Uh, we have a few different table and chair options that I haven't unlocked any of them. I'm thinking... I don't know. I don't know what I'm thinking, to be honest with you. I haven't, uh, thought that far ahead. Hmm. We have a lot of tables and chairs. Stone chairs are okay. I don't know, though. You know, the obsidian ones kind of would, I think, blend in nicely with this area. You know? Like, I think the obsidian would fit... Well, that's kind of a blue texture. Hmm. Intriguing. I love the tar walls. I'm going to put them back here as well. I think they are so... Such a great color and just great texture and just... I like them a lot. Okay. Uh, I'm going to put a touch more thought in this. I'm going to dig out a little bit more. We're going to figure out... I think I want the bar over on this side... And then we need some sitting and stuff around. I gotta make this quite a bit bigger, I think. But, uh, yeah. I'm feeling positively about it. And, uh, we just gotta get some work done. You know, as I'm building here, I realize it's not the digging that's taking forever. It's all the ores that are coming up in the way. But, yeah, check this out. So, you're gonna come in. We got a cool little swanky seating area that's gonna be over here. We got the bar over here. And, uh, down here is going to be the dance floor. We got a little... A little DJ area set up. It's pretty dark and it gets a bit dangerous because you can just end up drowning in the wall. But you know what? Um, there's no courthouse on the server. We don't have any sort of liabilities here. It's a lawless society, which uh, Sidon has been taking full advantage of. But I love this, uh, this textures, this build palette. I love this hardened wall with like the rest of the textures. It's going to be a lot darker in here than it is at the moment. So imagine something closer... Well, not this level of dark. We're going to have to find some way to get lighting in here. But uh, it's going to be fairly dark. Because you want your nightclub to be dark. Or else you notice how gross and sweaty people are. So you definitely have to have it quite dark. But anyway, the dance floor. I'm sure some of you guys may have guessed it. And it might be in the thumbnail. We're going to use LED blocks. Um, yeah. It's going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting. It's going to be a lot of work. But we're going to use LEDs. I'm thinking, though, not this entire area. I'm thinking perhaps maybe just, like, a part of it will be LED-centric. So anyway, um, that's something that we have to do. It's going to be kind of cool. I'm hoping to make it kind of awesome, but we'll do that in a second. I forgot some blocks over here. Uh, this place, though, I really like this palette of blocks. I'm a huge fan of it at the moment. I, I think it's really cool. <laughs> I think it's really cool. And, uh, yeah, so that's going to be cool. The dance floor is going to be pretty neat. Um, I'm trying not to put torches too close to the tar either. I didn't realize, like, you could set tar on fire. But anyway, um, I'm still trying to figure out the entrance. I want it to be here and then kind of walk in this way. I also don't know what I want to do for tables and stuff yet. I'm going to, I think, unlock all the tables and we'll check them out. Um, but, yeah, so... I just thought I'd show you guys. I'm really happy with how it's looking already, and it's not even got the coolest part or any of the seating or anything in. So that's pretty cool. I also don't know who I want to hire for here, you know? We could hire a thing, but, I mean, they have so many arms, I guess they could be pretty efficient. But uh, I hear things are a bit of a uh, evil entity, and they might, uh, you know, skim off the top of the cash, so to speak. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, we also, like, need a, I don't know, about a ladder, maybe? I don't know, some sort of way to get here. You can always wrap it around or back. I don't know. We'll figure out an entrance in a second. I think the next thing I want to do is uh, finish up this wall, finish up all the walls, and then maybe take a start at the dance floor. Could be kind of a fun step. Gosh, tell me this doesn't look like a nightclub, right? Right? I mean, it's getting a cool vibe. I took out some of the lights. I uh, decided to use the obsidian slabs for sort of our step down here. 
These are all the LEDs. Um, I haven't wired them up or anything. I decided to put some torches underneath slabs uh, every here and there just for some light. So you can see it's a little bit sort of lit up uh, right here and right there. Um, just for that little bit of light. We're going to do a few more lights near the tables and stuff, but I'm trying to hide the lighting really well. But now I want to focus up on um, this LED area and uh, making that look cool. So I'm just actually going to put some, some more torches back. Um, yeah, I want to get that looking pretty neat and we'll see uh, how it works. I'm not entirely sure how I want to wire this up. Uh, I want to use an inverter gate and probably just a switch um, that we can hit. Yeah, that makes sense, right? So we'll put a switch here. Let's just give it a name. Um, right, right, right. Uh, did I leave it in the other chest? Maybe. Maybe. I don't know where my wiring tool is. Why is this so difficult? Um, I'm so tired of these enemies. I'm so tired of these enemies. Uh, maybe it's up here. Maybe it's up here. Maybe I should just try and do this and then we can talk about it. Can you get out of my face, bro? Bro Safino? And another one. What are you doing here? Get out of my face. You are not welcome in my club. Uh, yeah, so let's name this um, Boom 1. Boom 1? Sounds good. Boom 1. And we're going to name, I think, half the lights are going to be Boom 1, half the lights Boom 2. Well, I don't know. I don't know. Let me figure this out. I haven't done machines in a while, so I'm a little bit out of practice. Well, this is not as easy as I thought it would be. I'm not entirely sure how to make it so that I flip a switch and the lights turn on and off. So right now I just have it running through a delay gate, but the delay gates won't work unless there's a power source, and I'm just not sure how to make this. I want the lights to basically turn on and off at sort of like a you know, a thing, and I'm not entirely sure how to make that happen. Hmm. Input. I don't know. I'm going to have to play around with this more. I might get help. There's so many people on the server who are really good with technology that I may get them to help. Basically, I want these, like, to flash on and off at different times. And, uh, yeah, I don't know what to do about that. So I think I'm just going to finish up the rest of our place and uh, hopefully get somebody, well, hopefully somebody's around that can help me with the wiring. I ain't no smart electronic man, you know what I mean? Um, so anyway, uh, yeah, I might need to find a co-investor for my club here. Hmm. But a nasty rumor that side in the pink had come to visit me. So I'm a little concerned. I'm a little bit concerned that perhaps we're walking into something. And this loading screen's really long. Ugh. How come everyone with the name Sidon is evil? This is a warning. Do not try and mess with me. If you want to deactivate spawners, go place a death statue. Uh-oh. And, of course. Okay. Okay, this is how you want to play it? Well, I'll just walk this way. And... Oh, I think that guy... Oh, this guy's actually just... I think he naturally spawned. Oh, of course. Well, you're not going to drop anything, are you? No, probably not. Probably not. Remy's on. Alright, well, uh, place a death statue. Okay. Well, we know where that is. Um, let's run across. Oh my goodness, how many spawners did he put? <laughs> how many spawners did uh, Side in the Pink put? Now, if you guys don't know who Side in the Pink is, you know the evil guy Side Master? Well, he is an even evil little twin, Side in the Pink. Yeah. You know, usually there's a good twin and a bad twin. Oh my goodness. Usually there's a good twin and a bad twin. Turns out, just a bad twin. Just bad twins. To stop the pigs, you'll need a code. A password found near your old abode. Password found near your old abode. I'm not entirely sure what my old abode is. My old abode. Probably, I guess my first house was on the dock. My first house was on the dock. Look at this crazy adventure in the place I built. A password you seek to get rid of the swine. The first 
because the one that ate the first number is the one that ate nine seven the second is the one on an arc sign farm some bog water and all will be fine uh so the first one seven eight nine blah blah old joke evil people use cheesy jokes it's well known the second is found on an arc sign uh okay i don't know what like an arc sign used to display custom text i'm not sure maybe there's an arc sign somewhere here farm some bog water and all will be fine um, okay, maybe there's a, maybe he put an arc sign next to my bog water machine. Ah, okay. The number's not here. There's a clue for you, though. Go harvest some wheat and your number will show. Oh my gosh. <sighs> okay, so we got seven and another number. And a lot of spawners. The second number is course good old two. Just one more to find. I'll give you the clue. Just go to the layer that one would go to mine blocks that are possessed to go. All right. That would be the uh, globs of goo would be stalactite layer. Stalactite layer. Um, yeah, it's already in there. Okay. The final number to your four-digit key is written inside of a tree at the south of your lake. Just walk by, you'll see. Uh-oh, I uh, kind of forgot what they were. I think seven to... Ooh, I kind of forget what they were, actually. I kind of forget what they were. This is a fun little adventure. This must have taken a while for him to set up. Um... Ah, uh, wait. <laughs> I forget the four digits now. So I don't know where I'm supposed to... My goodness, there's a lot of these. I don't know exactly where I'm supposed to... Stop the pigs, you'll need a code. Yeah, okay. I'm pretty sure they said the second one is good old two. Good old two. I can't believe he's using these feral pigsy against me. Ugh. Password you seek. The first, 789. Second is found on arc sign. Okay. So seven. Um... Seven? Ugh, I hate riddles. The number's not here. There's a clue. Yeah, okay. Go to the wheat. Didn't somewhere say something about two? Or am I just completely imagining it? Oh my goodness. Uh, the second number is, of course, good old two. Yes. Okay, so seven, two. Four digit key. <laughs> Four digit key. The final number to your four digit key is written inside of a tree. But I only have two numbers, don't I? The number that eight nine is seven. Unless I'm just putting a bad joke into that. Hmm, I don't know. Hey, a treasure chest. I don't think that has anything to do with him. I think that just a treasure chest. This is the south of my lake, right? No. Yeah, this is the south of my lake. A tree by the south of my lake. Mm. <laughs> like, it's too early to be doing this. It's very early in the morning. Um... Just walk by and you'll see. Oh, there's one. There's something up there. Not really the south of my lake, but... Um, okay, there's a number comparison gate. Um... Okay, well, there's the spawner radius. What are you doing? What are you doing here? I don't know what the answer is. I'm so baffled, and I don't... 
am I like too stupid or am I missing numbers somewhere? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, so this was the south. Where's my final clue? Is there a clue? I have a feeling this might be so evil that there's actually no answer or anything. This is just like a long thing to keep getting me attacked. That's what I'm going with. I'm going back to spawn. I think I figured out... Um, well, I didn't figure out. I asked the people on the server. I said, hey, machines are hard, and this is what I'm trying to do. And uh, Avalar... Uh, a bunch of people gave me great suggestions. Avalar um, wrote out what I needed to do, which is, which is great. Uh, but I need... Can I just keep pushing them away until, like, I'm fine? Anyway, I need uh, an inverter and a number comparison gate. I need an inverter. I need a number comparison gate. Uh, I have some delay gates. I think that's good. Okay, we're going to build it elsewhere. But, yeah, I think I figured out what we need to do for our dance club. But this was, um was different this was different and I feel dumb but I also just feel like maybe he's evil enough to give you a riddle that actually doesn't have an answer also where do I put in the number maybe it's in my bedroom I don't know I actually didn't see like a number pad anywhere no I didn't see a number pad anywhere uh oh what oh what oh Alright, well, okay, I'm gonna head over to spot and build it over there, because this is my testing area, and now it's unsafe. Well, I gotta say, I am stumped. I... I don't know, I can't get it to, like, continuously bounce back and forth, and... Yeah, I'm gonna have to, like, get someone, because I'm following sort of a text message that Avalar sent, and, uh... I don't know, I'm gonna have to get somebody else to, like, come on and help me, because I have absolutely no idea. It was supposed to be a switch into a number comparison through a delay gate and inverter, and I, I, I kind of get the concept, but it's just not working. I didn't rehook this up, I guess. Um, I kind of get the concept, but it's just not working. And then it stops. Yeah, I don't know. Um, anyway, so I think what I'm going to do is, uh, I don't think anyone's around right now. It's kind of early in the morning. But, uh, well, Remy's on. Um, but uh, I don't know. Does he? I don't know if he's a big machine guy. But anyway, I think what I want to do is actually get the uh, entryway in. Uh, we might as well do the entryway. We can do the decoration stuff because we are not machine people. We're not machine people, we're decorate people. So let's do that. Um, let's get an entry in here. I want a numpad. We gotta make this, you know, the coolest part about having the coolest club in the city is that you can uh, you can pick and choose who you wanna be there, right? That's sort of the idea. So we're gonna uh, put a nice door on it. We're gonna get a nice code and we're only gonna give that code to people that, you know, don't flood our base with evilness, you know? Side in the pink probably ain't gonna be in the dance club. I wonder if he likes dancing. Do pigs dance? Probably. Pigs are cool animals. Hello. Where are you guys coming from? I distinctly remember blocking off most of the caves that you guys could come from. No? You guys decided to have other ideas? Okay. Anyway, uh, so yeah, I'm going to, um, I think, get a little entryway in here. So we want it to, like, end right here. So unfortunately, we got probably a touch of digging to do because it's, uh, oh yeah. Because stuff like this happens. We have, like, the tar and stuff. All right, I got to figure out how we're going to get to here, to this point. So this is what he said, and then, is it doing something? What is it? Okay, it, it did do something for a second there. So I turned can, it on. I can get it to flip, but then I can't get it to continuously flip. Right. Like this clock. Right there. And that's because it's not resetting the circuit. 
What? It was the switch that was throwing me off. Oh, I couldn't so you figure took out how the, the switch, switch away. And it... I took the switch away and connected the inverter's output to where the oh, switch was oh. connecting on the number comparison gate. You kind of just remade this. <laughs> Basically, I, I like I said I don't know why he chose the number comparison gate. Yeah. So if I just put down a switch, or if I just change the timing on this clock, it'll like stop, right? Right. And then it, any signal sent to the number comparison gates input one will reset it. Okay. So, so you could have a switch or a sensor even that's just connected here, but then it just has to be a flip of the switch. Like you just you toggle it really quick off and then on again to get it to go again. All right. Now flip the switch to start it and then turn it off and something strange happened. <laughs> Uh, did you... Oh. oh, wait, which way's off? Is this the, off? Uh, the inverter received was not renamed. Oh. Uh... LED1. Oh, right, right, because it's getting from the delay gate. Right, I'm renaming it for you. You have to keep it on for one whole loop. There you go. It's magic. <laughs> oh, oh, it's magic. <laughs> no, you can't sing that. It's copyright. You don't know that. I've... <laughs> yeah, I have a problem. I sing randomly. So, who knows? <laughs> well, that's why you, <laughs> one of these that's days. Why you do Twitch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> one of these days, some big corporate person's going to be watching and be like, hey, wait a second. We own that. If I'll I get a letter. Sing, Sorry, we own you, you now. out of tune. Then it's fine. The algorithm <laughs> can't recognize it. I I don't sing on tune, so it's okay. <laughs> well, you're you're set then. Um, okay, so this the only thing I need to do is change the number when I leave, and then flip the switch when I arrive. Yep. Interesting. All right. All right. So we have uh, well two clocks here. One which is semi toggleable. That was Remy D. Um, coming to the rescue. He's really awesome. You can check him out on Twitch. I'll leave a link in the description to him. Um, yeah, so this is really cool. I, I think we pretty much explained it. I'm going to build it down uh, down below so we can sort of toggle it and whatnot. But uh, it works, and that's really cool. And uh, yeah, so there's a couple clocks here. I might upload the full... We spent about 25 minutes doing it. I, uh, I might upload that to YouTube if you guys are interested. Let me know in the comments. Um, because, yeah, we were talking a bit more about it. I cut it up so it would fit sort of nicely inside of an episode. But we did, we spent about 25 minutes. He made this clock and then this one. So if you guys are curious in that, I can upload that. Um, just let me know in the comments down below. Also, check out Remy. He um, He's not only good with machines. He's a really good builder, too. He built the Lazy Leafy Inn over here. Um, he mostly streams on Twitch. I don't, mm, I think he uploads on YouTube occasionally, but he's mostly a Twitch guy and he streams a ton of Creativeverse and he's really great at it. So check him out for sure. Anyway, I'm going to uh, put this downstairs and we're going to check out our fully functional dance floor. Hopefully, I haven't made it yet, so I don't want to promise too much, but in theory, we have a system that works. Well, I don't really know what to say here. We figured it out and I rebuilt the exact system down here. And it, uh, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. Everything's the exact same, and it doesn't work. And I can't figure out why. So, uh, for now, we're just going to leave that system up top. Um, still running. We Maybe we can build a little house around it or something. But we're just going to hook up our LEDs to that. Because I'm so tired of dealing with this. So we're just going to change these to uh, LED 1. Then this would be LED 2. And this would be LED 3, uh, no, LED 1, and so on and so forth. And you can see now they're bouncing fine. So I don't, man, I, I don't know, man. I don't know, man. I just can't, just can't. So now you can see they're bouncing. So imagine the entire floor doing this. That's the idea. And uh, I don't know if we're going to go white, black, or if we're going to do some colors. I'm not really sure. I'll do it with white first, and then maybe we'll change the colors. But yeah, so that's what that's going to be, I tell you. So I'm going to finish the dance floor, and then I think we're going to do the interior of this and everything else um, afterwards. 
uh, next episode because I feel like this one's already been pretty long and it's been pretty good. But yeah, next time we got to decorate this up. We got to put something out here. There's a few things we got to do and it'll be cool. So anyway, I'm going to finish up the dance floor right now. Well, there she is. Um, kind of looks like a chessboard at the moment. I think I'm going to change the colors and stuff. But the cool part about this is we can actually, um, I mean, we can make shapes. We can do whatever we want. We just have to change the names of the lights. So LED 1, LED 2. Um, yeah, so that's kind of cool. We can, you know, make shapes. We can change it depending, you know, if there's a special occasion, you know, whatever, whatever. We can change the colors, whatever we want. Either way, we have a working dance floor. Big shout out again to Revy D because it would not be possible without him. So next time, we're going to uh, finish up this place. We need some tables. We need some couches. We need a bartender. We need an outside area. <laughs> we need a bouncer. You know, there's a lot of stuff we still need here. Um, we also need to build something around this clock. Anyway, uh, please let me know what you guys think of this place. Um, I'm pretty excited. I think it looks pretty cool. I like the design of it. We have to get some lighting and stuff into it and uh, all of that sort of jazz. And that I'll do next episode. Um, also, if you guys want to see uh, sort of the full video of me and Remy making clocks. Okay, him making clocks, me standing there looking confused. Um, let me know. I, I could probably upload... The full thing as opposed to just the you know minute or so I did in this episode and uh, let me know what you guys think um, also if you guys have any ways for me to get back at Sidon Master please let me know but yeah we'll probably build a house or something around this and uh, yeah so anyway um, thanks for watching leave a like if you enjoyed let me know what you guys think in the comments and I will catch you guys next time ciao